Canadian hero. My name is Frank Andrew Hernandez, also known as Drew Hernandez. Oh, this is good. Uh, publicly. This is going to be good. Uh, my last name, H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Okay. And Mr. Hernandez, uh, can you tell us a little bit of... Uh your background in terms of what you do for work. So I'm a professional commentator on Real America's Voice. I commentate on the news. I commentate on what's in pop culture uh, on a daily basis. And I also do on the ground reporting uh, specifically on protests uh, and the 2020 riots. And as it relates to the uh, you're on the ground kind of reporting is what I'm interested in. Um, were you in Kenosha uh, on the evening of August 25th? of 2020 yes and were you there to cover what was happening with the civil unrest in kenosha yes and were you able to do that um with some type of video equipment uh, i use my iphone and i also use a body cam and specifically on this night that's what i was using to document the riots now after the 25th um i don't want to know where you live but you don't live in kenosha is that no. fair no. Was there a time after the 25th that um, someone from law enforcement uh, had reached out to you uh, to try to get a hold of some of the uh, the information that you had through through video? Yes, I don't remember his name specifically, but a detective did reach out to me. Okay. If I said it was uh, Detective Ben Antaramian or Detective uh, uh, Martin Howard, would that does that do anything? One of the two. He identified himself from Kenosha. And were you able to make connection uh, in some form or fashion with those uh, law enforcement officers? Yes. Can you just briefly explain kind of how that went down? So they requested all the footage that I had um, and they sent me a Dropbox link that was not sufficient. It only had, I don't know, not enough memory because the body cam footage is, <laughs> geez, over 50 videos. Um, but the reason why I wasn't able to follow up was because I was covering all the riots last year. Uh, I was in Portland, Seattle, uh, Washington, D.C., was all over the country, so I just lost track. So is it fair to say after <clears throat> the civil unrest in Kenosha, your employment then took you to cover other things going on around the United States? Yes. And so if I have it right, you and law enforcement had kind of not been able to connect for some period of time after that? Yes. Was there a period of time then closer to today or this trial that you were able to do that? Uh, yes, I did that through my attorney. And were you able then to provide to both Mr. Rittenhouse's lawyers and the prosecution uh, a full set of the videos that you had mentioned that you had taken? Yes. Where, where is this going? And, <clears throat> So my questions to you initially will be this. Um, were you kind of working by yourself that evening or were you working with a team or what? Yes, last year I was working independently by myself. And do you, is it fair to say that on that night you didn't know who Kyle Rittenhouse was? No. It, I don't know if you've heard this, but there's been other people mentioned, uh, Mr. Rosenbaum, were you aware of who that was? No. Were you aware of uh, Mr. Huber or Mr. Grosskreutz? No. Okay, so you had no knowledge of any of these people prior to August 25th? Nope. Fair? Okay. So looking back now, understanding you're familiar with who Mr. Rittenhouse is now, correct? Yes. Have you um, had an opportunity to look back on your uh, videos to see if you had captured Mr. Rittenhouse on video, had any type of contact with him in any way? Uh, I've had no contact with Kyle Rittenhouse, um, but I have looked at footage um, to just go over it, yes. And does your footage capture any, <coughs> excuse me, any contact, uh, maybe not personal contact, but anything that you saw Mr. Rittenhouse doing that evening? Yes. Can you describe that? So Antifa and the rioters were going head to head with the police in front of the courthouse. Um, and as they were doing so, the police then responded. I think uh, they, I believe they called an unlawful assembly of some sort uh, because Antifa had their riot shields out. They were throwing rocks at the police officers. They were even trying to get inside of the hood of one of the police vehicles. Um, and this is all documented on footage that I submitted as well. Um, but to answer your question, when the rioters were being dispersed further down Sheridan uh, towards the car source 
um, dealerships down the street, um, the riders were grabbing uh, concrete slabs. They were throwing them on the floor to create more rocks and to throw them at police officers. They were launching fireworks and other explosives that I couldn't identify. Um, but as they were being pushed down the street, um, they passed car source too. And the rioters identified individuals with long arm rifles on top of the building. And they immediately uh, attempted to agitate them um, to try and start some conflict with them saying, you ain't the police, you ain't the police. Um, the rioters initiated that conflict. Um, I'm to move to strike. He's speculating it's the intent of people. Um, overruled. Initi overruled. Initiating overruled. a conflict to, isn't a speculation uh, to intent. Proceed by question and answer. Okay, so my question is this. Uh, did you see, in reviewing your videos, did you see Mr. Rittenhouse on the 25th? Yes, and then at that point, Kyle Rittenhouse came out of car source too, and he attempted to de-escalate the situation. Okay, so if I have this right, we've been all doing this for almost two weeks now. Um, but this is the <coughs> car source two or car doctor. This guy's so great for Kyle this so is far. the place you're talking about? Yeah. Yes. I want to see okay. how he holds and up on that cross. is the first time that you had observed. Uh, he looks sturdy. Yeah, He's going to do well on cross. And you had said that yeah, he had, you good. had saw him come out from inside the building. Yes, it appeared he to might me. Not if he faced a real cross, and but. Did you hear? Uh, yeah. I, did you just see him or did you hear anything he was saying? I just saw him. And what did it, to you, what did it appear that he was doing? Uh, in the video, Kyle has his hands like this. And he is saying something, but I can't identify what he's saying. But he clearly attempts to de-escalate the situation. Uh, and he actually is successful because the riders then disperse. During that evening, I know that you said you Super speculative didn't know about what he was, he was attempting you, to do. And looking back at your videos, have an opportunity to observe someone You're that muted, evening, uh, Mr. Rosenbaum. Yes. And Dang it. <laughs> do you Forgot. recall, just tell me where you saw him originally the first time I saw Mr. Rosenbaum was when the police were pushing the riders back to uh, the gas station um, on Sheridan Ultimate, I believe. And uh, Mr. Rosenbaum was pushing a flaming dumpster on fire into police vehicles that were occupied by officers and human beings. He was busy. Well, this, um, this was good. Mr. Hernandez, I'm going to show you what has been marked as Exhibit 149. Uh, can you? Identify that. Tell me what that what that is. A photo of. Uh, this is a photo of the event I just described. Okay. And does that photograph? That's a still photograph of a video that you took. Is yes. Right? right. I'm going to ask that you look to your left. Okay. Uh, and if you can play that, can you tell me if that's what you captured? Is he known for being conservative? Is that the video that you're talking about with Mr. Rosenbaum? Yes. Okay. Now, can you just back it up for a second? That's good. Um, there's a person who's putting out that dumpster fire, right? Yes. Okay. Do you recall or can you tell whether or not that person, um, at least visibly, was armed? Not at the time. You couldn't tell if that person was armed? No. Did you see? I'll ask you to see this way. That's probably a bad question. Did you see a weapon on that person? No. And can you just play the video then? After you capture that video, then was there other? Um, did you? capture Mr. Rosenbaum then doing anything again after that video? Yes, he immediately was triggered and aggravated because an individual... Now, how do you, why do you say that? Uh, because you can even hear at the end of the video, Rosenbaum is saying, why do you do that? Um, and right after this event is when they identified the individual with the fire extinguisher, with the individuals with the rifles in the gas station, and they their attention went from the police immediately to the individuals at the gas station. So what I'm interested in is really is Mr. Rosenbaum. Yes. Did you see Mr. Rosenbaum do anything uh, that kind of drew your attention? 
after what we saw. Today. Absolutely. He led the charge uh, into the gas station. He was getting physically aggressive. Uh, he appeared to be attempting to start a physical altercation with people in the gas station uh, to the point where he was telling one of the individuals with a rifle, shoot me and word, shoot me and word, uh, clearly attempting to start a physical altercation. See, he's not sure too you, far to the right because he only said N word. Mark is one. Unlike Binger. This is right after the dumpster was put out, and Joseph Rosenbaum and other riders around him begin to turn their attention onto the individuals with rifles at the ultimate gas station. This guy's going to be the missing link for a lot of the story that people don't know. Yep. Is that Mr. Rosenbaum that we see kind of on the, will be on the right side of our screen? Yes. Would you say he's being a dick? <laughs> <laughs> got to be restrained by the people behind him. Nice to little hobbit there. The guy in the yellow shirt looks like Officer Doofy from Scary Movie 2. I mean, he just does. So you observed, that's you filming that, right? Yes. Okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to ask you about is, um, uh, is there was there another time prior to uh, the shooting of Mr. Rosenbaum that you observed uh, Mr. Rosenbaum and Mr. Um, Rittenhouse in the same location? Yes. And if you know about how long before the shooting did you see that? Um, so after this scene at the gas station, there was another fire at a mechanic shop a block away. Went to go document that for about 20 minutes. Um, and when I came back is when I saw Rosenbaum in the middle of the street lighting a trash can on fire with now his identity concealed with a T-shirt over his face. Unfortunately, he was still three feet tall, so... So I'm going to show you. And, and bald. And, uh, or shaved head. It looks like uh, Mr. Rosenbaum's head is in the center of the frame. It's because I'm wearing this a body cam when I return to solar plexus. Sheridan after documenting the fire at the mechanic shop about a block away. And this is the beginning of when I see what I just described. Okay. But, and I might have to stop it. So. <laughs> I just started following Drew Hernandez on Twitter. Can you tell me, is this person right here? Uh, do you know now that's Mr. Rosenbaum? Yes. I didn't have a question. Do you know now that? That's Mr. Ro the person in that video is Mr. Rosenbaum. <laughs> You know, people live in these houses. Like, people have, just have to see this, have to live with this. Viva, how many, now, was that what, you're not okay with Mr. peaceful Rosenbaum burnings right in front of your house? Yes. And he 
appears to be walking be southbound on Sheridan? Yes, towards Car Source 3. Okay. Um, can you roll it again? <laughs> You see this person right here? Yes. Does that person appear to be hold, holding something in their hand? Yes, that is a fire extinguisher. Okay. And does that person appear to have on something on his hands or on their hands? Yes, purple gloves. Yes. Why are they all walking this way? Isn't I mean town isn't town like behind them? If you know, or based on what you saw, did this person here with the fire extinguisher and purple gloves, did that person react to anybody else that you saw at this point? that was walking in front of him? No. Okay. Did you see him at this point? Was he, in your opinion, did he say anything? Uh, yes, if you play the video further, I believe you could hear Kyle saying, uh, or requesting if anybody needs medical. And the reason why it may not be shown on this is because it's body cam, but I could see this with my own vision as I'm walking down the street. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Chin Chillbot says 70,000 viewers again doing better than the actual news. Wrong. We are the actual news. No, at this point, it appears <laughs> that the is. Legacy media is lying about this case, right. and they can yeah, get Yeah, if you back wrecked. it up a couple seconds, you'll see him even more clearly, and that is Joseph Rosenbaum, yes. Now, when he was walking down the street at itself on Sheridan, he was ahead of Mr. Rittenhouse, is that right? Yes, he was. Okay. Now, in this photograph or still a video, he appears to be behind him? Yes. Okay. Now, do you hear, do you hear somebody say, fuck you, right? Yes. Were you able to ascertain or make out who said that? At the time, no. Okay. No. And it, you see, right, Joseph Rosenbaum running after Kyle Rittenhouse. Is that about as close to the incident as you get? Uh, at the direct time of the shooting, yes. Did you see... Um, what Joseph Rosenbaum was doing as he was chasing Kyle Rittenhouse? So I was at the corner of the car source, and the first thing I did identify was that Rosenbaum was charging Kyle Rittenhouse from behind. And then as he's charging him into the car source parking lot, uh, a firearm goes off. You can see it in the frame at the top of the car. Can I ask you this? Stop me for a second. Yeah. Did you hear that real time? Hear it and saw it in real time. And as uh, the first firearm goes off, Rosenbaum is already charging Kyle from behind, uh, attempts to throw a bag at him, not sure what's inside of it. And um, Kyle is right at the corner right there, car, car source, and turns around, and Rosenbaum is lunging towards him very clearly, and Kyle fires. And do you see that with your eyes? Yes. Lunging sir. towards him. Very Your clearly. contact Beautiful. with Kyle that evening was just in terms of what you observed, I'm asking. 
did you observe him acting in an aggressive manner to anyone that you observed? In no way, shape, or form. The first time I saw Kyle, he actually de-escalated a situation. Did you observe him at any time uh, that evening pointing his firearm at anybody or threatening anybody with that firearm? No. Good, I would cross, move, cross. I think it's 149 to 151. Um, and I don't have any other questions. Objection? No. Come on, give us fat lock. Uh, the, I'm told the food is coming around 1215, so okay. why don't you go ahead now? It's going to be banger. They say food is coming at 1215 or 115? I think it's at 1215. Okay. Just 10 minutes. It's a lukewarm lunch. 